Hello, humans. I just came across a brand new AI chatbot, and this one can do something I've never seen any other chatbot do. This chatbot is called Diamond, and you can use it at chat.diamond. It gives you access to all the top AI models in one place, including image generation models. You're going to get access to all the cloud models, all the GPT models, llama models, and even perplexity is included here. Now, I'm going to type in my prompt. I'm going to try this. Can you draft a reply for this email? Keep it friendly and casual. I'm going to paste the email here and send it out. This is the unique part of this chatbot. It's going to give you a response, but if you look at the bottom, it picked GPT for O mini here, and it made that decision on its own. The reason why it did that is because it thinks, for the specific task of replying to an email, GPT for O mini is the best model, which I agree with. So, depending on your prompt, it's going to choose in the background the best model available to answer you. Let's try another one, what's in the news today? A lot of models are not going to have internet access to answer that. If you look at the bottom, it shows perplexity again. If I were doing that search myself, I would probably open a new web page, go to perplexity, and run that prompt, right? I wouldn't likely use ChatGPT or Claude for that. Now, let me go to a website. I'm just going to copy this entire website, ask for a short summary, paste everything from that blog post, and send it out. Again, this time it chose GPT for O mini. Sometimes, I personally use ChatGPT to do this task, but it looks like this model was chosen. If you disagree with its choice, you can simply click here and choose from all these other models. So, if I wanted to use Claude, I can get the answer here, right? You can easily switch between them. One more really cool thing I found is that if you give it a thumbs up, it will remember that every time you ask for a summary, it should use that model. If you give it a thumbs down, it's going to try a different model. Another interesting feature is arena mode. If you turn this on, you can give it another prompt, like, what are the best marketing methods for a cloud kitchen? This is the battle mode where you'll get one model on the right side and one on the left side. If you look at the bottom, it shows the speed and cost of each model. Right now, it's using the free plan, but there is also a paid plan for $20. However, I think the free plan is enough for now. Now, let's use its image generation capabilities. Here's my prompt for an image of a Mexican girl. First, I turned on the image generation mode and hit generate. Look at this. It generated two images, and they look great. If we look at the bottom, the first image was generated using stable diffusion, and the second one from playground. The quality is decent. Let's try one more prompt, a woman in a sundress. Here are the results. I think the first image is much better, and it used stable diffusion for that. I really enjoyed using this chatbot. The link is in the description. You can check it out. See you later, cutie. Love you. Bye.